Welcome back to the Bayesia channel. Today we're diving into six essential rate limiting techniques to protect your APIs and services from overload. Let's break down each strategy with real-world visuals. Rate Limiting Basics A rate limiter checks incoming client requests against defined rules. First, it reads the rate limiting rules and fetches usage data from storage, often Redis. If the request is within limits, it forwards to your API, otherwise, it returns HTTP 429, too many requests. This gatekeeper pattern is your first defense. Fixed Window Counter Imagine buckets of one-minute windows. Each window has a capacity, say three requests. Any requests beyond that in the same one-minute slot get dropped. Simple to implement, but can cause bursts at window boundaries. Sliding window log. Here, we record timestamps of each accepted request in a log. When a new request arrives, we evict entries older than the time window, like one minute, and check if the log size is under the limit. This ensures precise control but can be memory intensive for high throughput. Sliding window counter. A hybrid of fixed window and log, maintain counters for the current and previous windows. Weight their contributions based on how much of each window remains, for example, two-thirds previous, one-third current. This smooths out bursts while using constant space. Token bucket. Tokens drip into a bucket at a fixed rate. Each incoming request consumes one token. If tokens are available, the request proceeds. If not, it's dropped. You can also accumulate tokens during idle periods to handle short bursts gracefully. Leaky bucket. Incoming requests queue up in a FIFO buffer. The bucket leaks at a constant processing rate, smoothing spikes and ensuring a steady output flow to your protected system. Excess requests wait or get dropped when the queue is full. Key takeaways. Fixed window is easy but bursty. Sliding window log offers precision at higher memory cost. Sliding counter smooths bursts with minimal state. Token bucket handles bursts flexibly. Leaky bucket enforces a strict output rate. That's your quick guide to rate limiting. Pick the right strategy based on your traffic patterns and resource constraints. If you found this useful, like subscribe and hit the bell for more Bayesia channel deep dives. Drop your rate limiting questions below. See you next time.